Greetings and welcome to the Anhedinia Project. I'm Septim Sin. I had actually thought to myself, okay, I'm done <laughs> with this project. But a thought occurred to me and I said, you know, he continues to make movies. So should I not make this a continuing exercise? There's actually a new movie coming out called Riding the Rail and this says, you know what, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to make sure I cover all of these films. And that means I need to review Death Toilet 1 and 2. Now, if you want more in-depth reviews of these films, please check out my DVD movie reviews for both of these films. I actually physically purchased these. That's why I wasn't originally going to do an Anhedinia Project episode dedicated to these films. But for a completionist's sake, I'm going to go ahead and do a brief review of both films in order to try and... Well, just for the sake of completion, I should say. So let's talk a little bit about what makes a Death Toilet movie. This is about a Vietnam vet coming back to his brother's apartment after some mysterious circumstances left his brother, well, dead or disappeared. And these strange noises keep coming from the toilet, which we find later is demonically possessed. With the help of a preacher, he battles this toilet in order to try and regain his sanity and hopefully save his very soul. The second movie, he's back again, having to do battle with the evil toilet once again. He and the preacher get together as they team up for the epic final battle between them and the toilet demon. Who will come out? alive. These are the films that originally got me interested in Anhedinia films to begin with. I would not have taken a project of over 30 films watched in the span of less than a month. I would not have taken that on if it hadn't been for these two films. A friend of mine, uh, David Streggy, over at Inside Movies Galore or Delusions of Grandeur, he did a review of the first Death Toilet film and it just fascinated me. And he said, you know, do you want in on, uh, like, trying to, you know, trying to review this guy's films? And some of the times I'm just like, I'm busy. I work two jobs. I work days and I work nights. Even now, I'm doing this on my lunch break. <laughs> it's like, I don't know if I have time to do that. But then I thought to myself, anybody who has the guts to make a film called Death Toilet is a person that I want to get to know and that I would like to get to know their filmography. And so I familiarized myself quite well with their filmography. So the Death Toilet series has a rather amazing, uh, amazing effect on my life, I should say. And without them, I doubt I'd be here talking to you today about these films. So what is special about these? To me, I've rewatched them on, on the Vimeo. I resubscribed. Matter of fact, 
uh, I did this because I, I feel like I should support the artist. And if you want to see these films and any of the others discussed on this, you can go to his Vimeo channel and just for two dollars a month you have unlimited access. And if you want to do like me and binge them all, that's a huge value right there because there are more than enough good films on that channel to warrant that two dollar subscription. Me, I prefer the physical media and when we get to the end where we talk about should I buy should you buy this on physical media yeah you know, we'll, we'll say yay or nay <laughs> but many of you already know the answer <laughs> to me the first film was fun I, I really do enjoy the acting done in this and that first scene where the toilet has sort of like the knife underneath it and uh, just that initial scene it kinda leaves you a little bit feeling but at the same time it's just in general fun I, I I enjoy these things the little eyes floating in the toilet bowl uh, the kind of campy special effects it, it, it just makes this type of movie you don't want this movie to be like super high dollar you want this to be a low dollar film you want something this absurd to be as B-movie as possible. <laughs> and it delivers. It's a fun ride. There are some parts that I feel are were a little bit slow and overdone, much like uh, like the guy's training scene where it just kind of recycles his, like, <laughs> over and over again. You know, but it really holds up. And whereas I've had analysis before where I feel like the two weaknesses that this uh, production studio has is films that are horror and uh, films that are kind of monologuing, there are exceptions to those rules. And this is one of those exceptions. This one is a horror film that is done in a fun and entertaining way. And the second film, I think, improves upon this. It's mostly action, and the battle between them and the toilet is quite good. And the, the comparison between this and Don't Get Out is needs to be made. I've said this in my previous video, but I feel like uh, Don't Get Out... kind of threw a lot of those special effects in there without as much planning behind it. I don't know, I just it didn't feel as refined. This one, however, that battle, the way they entered the special effects, the way that they did the sounds, it, it felt as epic as it should be. You know, as any battle between a demon toilet and, and, uh, and a couple of people could be could they have you know done a, a better job of making the gun look more fake and more real sure but again this this movie doesn't need that and to me the way they did it it just it felt really cool especially with the attachment to this whole Vietnam conflict dealio that they have run in so I know I've expanded a little bit more on this than I normally do for these videos but these two films though not my favorites of the Anhedinia collection are films that do have a special meaning for me as they one introduced me to the filmmaker and to the channel and two uh, are films that I proudly own physically. So when I ask the question, would I own this physically? <laughs> of course the answer is yes. Would I recommend you buy them physically? I would recommend yes. The cover of the second one alone is worth it. And you will see this in my other reviews. So if you want more in-depth of course check out those reviews hit that subscribe button hit that like button and of course 
you can go through all these other lovely films as we move along. So, as we start up the Anhedinia wagon again, we will move on and look forward to our next episode where we discuss riding the rail. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.